Hello there and welcome back to another video where we cover the latest update of Luminar Neo. The latest update version 1.15.0 has just been released and it brings the highly anticipated Gen Erase tool along with a few other performance enhancements. In this video we will go through all the updates first and then we will test the new feature directly in the application. And now let's dive into the exciting new updates that version 1.15.0 of Luminar Neo has brought us. The most anticipated addition is of course the arrival of generative AI technology. With this technology comes the Gen Erase tool, which is the next generation erase tool that not only removes unwanted distractions from your images, but also replaces those areas with content-aware tools, giving you focus and distraction-free composition. The Gen Erase tool is really smart and it preserves the integrity of your photos by intelligently filling in the gaps with textures and other elements to match the surrounding area. You can use it for seamlessly erasing random people or animal, trash, street signs, vehicles, graffiti and much more. Now I do want to mention that the Gen Erase tool is a premium tool that is available exclusively for Luminar Neo subscribers and the 2023-24 Creative Journey Pass owners. Moving on to another update, Luminar Neo now supports new cameras, including brands like Canon, Fujifilm, Panasonic and Sony. In addition, Skylum has also fixed a few bugs to ensure that we have the best possible experience with Luminar Neo. Finally, to celebrate the release of the Generative AI tools, we have just launched our brand new Luminar Neo Photo Manipulation Masterclass. This fantastic course celebrates the editing power of Luminar Neo, bringing you 15 stunning photo manipulation projects that will unleash your creativity and improve your photo editing skills. And now we are finally in Luminar Neo, where we are going to look at the Gen Erase tool. But before we start, one more reminder that the Gen Erase tool is a premium tool that is available exclusively for Luminar Neo subscribers and the 2023-24 Creative Journey Pass owners. Now, if you want to find out more about it, make sure that you head to the Skylum website where you can find out more about how to subscribe to Luminar Neo or how to get the Creative Journey Pass. Finally, after all of this, it's time to test the tool. So I have multiple examples and we will look at them in a moment. However, for the time being, we're just going to use this image with the people on the beach. So first come first, the Gen Erase is located in a catalog module just above the extensions. So let's select the image and to access it, all you need to do is to click on it. When you click on the icon of the Gen Erase tool, a new window will open, which will most likely be the home of the generative AI tools. Now there is a toolbar at the bottom, which right now is for the Gen Erase. Looking at the controllers, we have an option to undo and redo the editing. Then we can click on the little eye icon, which will tell us more about the tool. After that, we have the before and after preview and also the option to zoom in and out. The next set of controllers pretty much work with the brush. We can select or deselect, adjust the size of the brush and then we can reset the selection and finally start the erasing process. Now, when it comes to the brush, it's really simple. All you need to do is to make sure that you are on select and then adjust the size of your brush. For us, let's start with 40 and then we're going to remove this guy right here. Now, when you're going to be brushing, you always want to brush a little bit outside of the subject. 
or outside of the element. So this way, when the generative AI will try to replace that element, it will have enough information about what is around it. So let's have a look at it. Let's select the subject just like this. So you don't have to be precise at all, just cover it. And then we can adjust the size of our brush, which we can do with our slider down here, or we can use the bracket keys, just like with any brush in Luminar Neo. After this, we're going to brush over these footprints. Maybe make the brush a little bigger. Again, brush over this. And once we are done and ready, now we can go ahead and click on Erase. Now, what happens when we click on Erase? Well, actually, the application sends the selected area or areas to the cloud where the AI machine scans the area and tries to replace it with textures or other elements while trying to match the surrounding areas. Once finished, it sends it back to the application. The time it takes to generate an area will depend on the size of the area you're trying to replace. However, in general, it can take anything from 30 to 90 seconds. Since we are talking about selecting the areas, it's good to mention that the tool usually works better on a small selections one at a time. Once the application brings the image back, you can double check the result and ultimately decide if you're happy with it or if you want to regenerate it again and see if it's going to do better job. To do that, all you would need to do is to click on Erase again. However, for me, looking at the image, I think it's looking great. So all we would need to do now is to click on Save and Continue. Once you click on Save, the application then returns into the catalog module and it navigates you into the Generative Creations folder. This is where all the new creations are going to be. From here, you can then take the image, move it into any folder you want and continue the editing process by moving the image into Edit module and use any of the tools there. Now, before we're going to go, I want to come back to my album where I want to show you a few more examples of what I was able to achieve with the tool. So starting with the deer right here, you can see that there was a little photo bomb created by this little deer here. And with the gen erase, I was able to remove it just like that. Moving on, another scene where I had uh, two elephants with one in front and one at the back. You can see that there are some trees and bushes at the back. And again, I think the application did very decent job removing the elephant and replacing the background. Another good example is the street capture right here with some mess and obstruction on the path. And again, with the generative AI, I was able to easily replace it. Finally, one more example with our Safari capture where again, we have the two lions together with people in the cars at the back. And just like that, with the gen erase, I was able to erase them and replace it with textures and elements that offer quite natural result. Now, before we finish, I want to show you a few of my favorite images from our latest Luminar Neo photo composition masterclass. Now, it includes 15 amazing projects However, let me show you a few of those that I really enjoyed creating. First, one of my favorites is the floating island. It looks like you're looking through the plane window at this beautiful island that is just floating in the clouds. It's a lovely example of combining multiple elements together and making it all work together. After that, another one of my favorites is the camera rail, where you put together an image of the camera together with the landscape and rails, and then you place another subject on the top of it to really create beautiful scene with depth and warmth. Finally, the ring portal is also an amazing example on what can be done in Luminar Neo. We have combined a multiple elements, including kind of moody street, bright street, together with the neon and glow element to create this beautiful, beautiful scene. 
Now, if you want to find out more about the masterclass, then make sure that you head to our website, cleverphotographer slash forward luminar composite. And to get the best possible price, follow the link in the description of this video. And that's all the news for today. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any of our future news or updates. For today, thank you very much for watching. My name was Jacob Bors and I can't wait to see you in the next video.